For example, kinote niya yung book na Ellen White na Evangelism sa page 598. One of them is called Evangelism. At page 598, look at what she says. Satan, who is the father of lies, deceived Adam in a similar way, telling him that he need not obey God, that he will not die if he transgressed the law. Now the question to ask yourself is, who showed Ellen G. White that Satan deceived Adam when the Bible says that Adam was not deceived? 1 Timothy 2.14, look what it says. This is scripture. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. Now, confronted with this, the Seventh-day Adventist church, what they've tried to say to this is that it was a misspelling. It was uh, a written error while she was writing the book. But the problem is this, when you claim to be a prophet, A prophecy is without error. So sabi ni Ellen White, si Adam ang nadisib o nadaya. Sabi naman daw sa Bible, si Adam ay hindi ang nadaya, kundi yung babae. Kaya sabi nitong uh, critic na ito sa YouTube, eh, buksan daw ang mata ng mga Adventists at makita kung gano'ng kamali at bula ang propeta at demonic itong si Ellen White. Sabi ko nakakaawa naman tong author na to, tira ng tira, parang hindi naman niya ata binabasa yung kanya, hindi niya alam yung sinasabi niya. Kasi po, ah, madali mag, uh, mag ganito, cut and paste, madali gumawa ng ganito istorya. Pero hindi po ganun kadali. Kailangan tignan nyo ang konteksto. Ano ang mali ng author dito? Ano yung mali ng critic? Ang mali ho niya rito, out of context. Hindi niya pinag-aralan ng context. Ang totoo niyan, wala hong contradiction. Magkakaroon ho ng contradiction kung ang pagkakasabi sana ni Ellen White sa Evangelism page 98 ay Satan, who is the father of lies, deceived Adam, not Eve. Kung merong ganon. Kung ang nakalagay, deceived Adam, not Eve, tapos nakalagay sa Timoteo, Adam was not deceived, but woman. Eh, may contradiction. Pero hindi ho ganun ang nakalagay sa sinabi ni Ellen White. No? Kung ating mapapansin, wala hong contradiction. Para ma-reconcile ho natin, yung binabanggit ni Ellen White, Satan, who is the father of lies, deceived Adam in similar way. Ang sinasabi rito is, si Satan, hindi niya deny, direct na dinaya si Adam. Indirectly, ang pagkakadisib niya kay Adam sa pamamagitan ni Eva. Yun po ang tama doon. No? Hindi porque sinabi rito ni Ellen White na Satan who is the father of life, disib Adam, ay direkta na dinisib siya ni Satan. Minsan kasi ganyan tayo. No? Minsan pagka nagkasala tayo, naku, tinukso na naman ako ni Satanas. Eh, kung tutusin, minsan hindi naman si Satanas direct lang tumutokso sa atin, kundi yung kanyang mga alipores. Yung mga demonyo, kasi si Satanas, hindi naman siya omnipresent na Satan is everywhere at the same time. Eh, paano naman yung sa ibang bansa, sa ibang lugar, sa oras din ito na tinutokso? Sa so, sabi nila, si Satan din ang nag-deceive. So, sometimes Satan is deceiving us indirectly through his agents. So, dito sa sinasabi ni Ellen White, Uh, dinisip niya si Adam not directly but indirectly through Eve. Paano natin nalaman? Pag binasa ho natin sa Genesis chapter 3, verse 6 and 7 sa King James Version, ay tama nga, indirectly dinisip, dinaya ni Satan si, si Adam sa pamamagitan ni Eva. Sabi po rito sa verse 6, And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took off the fruit thereof and did eat. And gave also unto her husband with her, and he did it. Sino ang nagbigay ng uh, prutas na pinagbabawal kay uh, Adan? Uh, Siyempre, si Eva, hindi naman si Satanas eh. And the, and the eyes of them were both open. Doon nabuksan pareho ang mata ng mag-asawa. Ngayon, meron ba tayong patutuo mismo sa sulat ni Ellen White na si Satanas nga ay dinaya niya si Adan indirectly through Eve? Hayaan kasi natin si Ellen White ang magpaliwanag. Itong kritik na ito sa YouTube, malamang hindi ho nagbabasa ng sulat ni Ellen White yan. Kaya tira siya ng tira, akala niya. Basta lang nakita niyang mali, nagkukonclude na siya. Porque hindi niya kinatanggap si Ellen White. Dito po sa aklat na Patriarchs and Prophets, page 56 and 57, ay napakaliwanag na tama ho ang sinasabi ni Ellen White at hindi ho kontra sa Bible. Sabi ko rito, And she saw that the tree was good for food, si Ivan Tinutukoy, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise. She took off the fruit thereof and did it. Without a fear, she plucked out and ate. And now, having herself transgressed, 
Kasi kumain na si Eve. She became the agent of Satan in working the ruin of her husband. Sabi mo mismo ng patriarchs and prophet, paliwanag ni Ellen White, si, nung matapos na makakain, ni Eva matokso siya na kumain ng pinagbabawal na bunga, siya ngayon daw ay naging ahente ni Satanas para sirain ang kanyang asawang si Adan. Kaya tama po yung sinabi ni Ellen White, Satan, who is the father of lies, deceived Adam indirectly through Eve. Yan po. Kasi uh, sabi nga dito sa bandang ibaba ng Patriarchs and Prophets sa page 57, Nung no sign of death appeared in her and he decided to brave the consequences, he seized the fruit and quickly ate. Kasi nakita daw ni Adan na nung matapos kainin ni Eva yung pinagbabawal na bunga, parang wala naman, masigla ang katawan niya, parang hindi naman siya namatay. Kaya sabi niya, sige, baka nga hindi ako mamamatay. Kaya kinain niya. So na-deceive siya through Eve. Ano ha? So, yung sinasabi sa Evangelism, page 598, Satan deceived Adam indirectly through the agency of Eve. Yun naman na sa unang Timoteo na sinasabi rin sa 2.14 na Adam was not deceived directly. Hindi siya deceived directly but by Satan, kundi ang directly na dineceive ni Satan yung babae. Yun ang sinasabi doon sa unang Timoteo. Ang totoo naman yan, sabi sa Genesis 3.1, now the serpent was more subtle than any of the beasts of the field which the Lord God has made. And he said unto the woman, Ye had God, ye, had God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? So ang talagang direct ding dinaya ni Satanas, yung babae, hindi si Adan. Kaya wala hong contradiction. Yung sinabi sa Evangelism 5, page 598, Si Satan deceived Adam indirectly through Eve. Pero pagdating sa oh, ikaw ng Timotheo 2.14, Ang directing sinasabi ron, hindi dinisib si Adam, directly. Ang directing dinisib ay yung babae. Kaya wala akong contradiction. 